Good morning, I am Anne Salter and you are watching International Business Times UK. In a major shake-up of troubled BlackBerry maker Research in Motion, two of its founding CEOs, Mike Lazaridis and Jim Basili, have stood down. And Salson Hines, the Chief Operating Officer, was named the new CEO. This was a company that defined smartphones, cornered the corporate and all-important youth market. But failure to keep up with Apple, then Google, as they ate the BlackBerry pie, has had devastating consequences for the company. Eurozone ministers are today discussing what form the Greek debt restructuring will take as the second bailout package is due. A deal was agreed last year that private lenders would voluntarily write off 50% of their loans to Greece. But private creditors still need to agree to the terms of the deal. A 130 billion euro rescue package from the EU and IMF is crucial if Greece is to meet its next debt repayment deadline in two months. As the bank bonus row rumbles on, RBS chief executive Stephen Hester has come under fire by opposition leader Ed Miliband, who is against the RBS chief receiving his forthcoming £1.3 million bonus from a taxpayer-backed bank and believes there should be a special tax for these bonuses in place. Mr Miliband remarked on David Cameron's promise last year that the government would put a stop to big bonus payouts in the city. Although it was the Labour government that approved the terms of Mr Hester's contract, who was then brought in to replace former RBS head Sir Fred Goodwin, another Labour appointee who was then dumped after the disastrous banking fiasco and who is now at the centre of a row to strip him of his knighthood. Good news in the retail sector, as one of the big supermarket chains Asda has announced plans to open 25 new stores and three depots, creating £5,000 jobs this year. It also plans to extend and refurbish 43 of its existing stores. Asda is the UK's second biggest supermarket chain behind Tesco and it's owned by the world's biggest retailer, US firm Walmart. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for more news and updates throughout the day. I am Anne Salter and you are watching International Business Times UK.